My name is Jenny Gao, an associate professor at North Dakota State University. Here with me are also my PhD student and the people co-author, Magitha Slam, and another co-author, Professor Gary Smith. Our presentation topic is the strategies to increase the adoption rate of lean construction. The presentation is going to cover introduction, uh, the problem we are solving, objectives and the method, as well as the research result, along with our conclusion and the potential future work. As we all know, construction always has some challenges like productivity loss, cost and time overrun. To overcome these challenges, different methods and the project delivery systems have been tried and lean construction is found to be one of the most effective methods based on the theoretical evaluation. Lean construction is to manage the construction project with effective goals, such as optimizing the, the whole process, generating the values that truly match with the customer satisfaction, eliminating waste, focusing on the flow among activities, and then continuously improving the practices to achieve the excellence. These goals would be achieved by duly giving respect to all the people involved. The construction industry has been seeing some of the successful implementation stories. According to the survey conducted by Dodge and Analytics, the project using the lean practices like shown on the chart are three times more likely to be completed ahead of the schedule and two times more likely to be completed under budget. At the same time, however, uh, <clears throat> the required uptake of lean construction is still low among the general construction industry. Through different case studies, it was found that around 50% were not implementing lean construction, whereas in other cases, even more than 80% of firms were not using lean construction. Also, there is a lot of variation among successful implementation. Some savings can be 5% from some firms, but some other firms may have more than 50% of savings. However, the average lean firms have received around 10, 1% to 10% of savings, whereas very few construction companies were able to achieve more than 20% of cost and time reduction. Our preliminary study revealed that most of the current lean studies have the focus only on lean implementing uh, process. Very limited research is for increasing the adoption rate of lean construction. Moreover, uh, both of the implementation barriers and strategies to overcome them are separately explored, thereby leaving a gap where strategies in overcoming the respective barriers are not discussed comprehensively. Therefore, we believe simultaneous developing strategies to overcome respective barriers will help the construction industry to adopt and implement lean construction more efficiently. In order to address the research gap, two research objectives are established. The first is to identify barriers that prevent the adoption of lean construction. And the second is to identify strategies to overcome barriers. The research method involves a preliminary and a detailed literature review which identify gaps and establish study objectives. A three-stage strategy was adopt for the literature search as shown in the chart. In the first stage, 204 related articles were identified. And in the last stage, 87 articles were kept for further analysis since they have explained the barriers and the successful adopting uh, strategies for lean construction. Then implementing barriers are identified and analyzed for these uh, three groups who are not using lean construction due to various reasons. Based on, the th uh, based on those uh, analysis, overcoming strategies are further recommended by carefully matching with barriers and the strategies with the respective uh, groups. Now, after going uh, through 87 articles, it was established that most of the research in identifying the barriers and strategies are carried out in isolation. 82% of published papers, they have identified the barriers and implementation strategies separately. Whereas only 18% of the articles presented both barriers and strategies, although simultaneously, 
but they were discussed separately. Additionally, uh, our analysis result indicated that approximately 80% of the articles are focused on identifying the implementation barriers, whereas the other 20% uh, presented barriers hindering the adoption of the infrastructure, as shown here. The analysis uh, result uh, confirmed that the objectives of this study mentioned early is sound and valid for the need of the construction industry. The question uh, that why lean construction is not taking off were explored by dividing the construction industry within three population groups. The first group contains a population that are not familiar with the lean construction, whereas uh, the second group contains population that are familiar but not implementing, whereas the third group uh, are those that have implemented lean construction but receive unfavorable results. 58 barriers were identified which are preventing these groups to use the lean construction. Although the list is very long, but some of the barriers are as shown in the slide. Uh, in almost all the groups, it was identified that the major barriers are actually associated with the lack of knowledge and understanding about the lean tools and techniques, considering them as very complex and confusing. One of the most important uh, causes of not implementing lean construction is the myth that lean construction is a gradual implementing process and it takes considerable time for actually visualizing the successes. Whereas uh, construction firms, they are more interested in seeing the rapid initial successes. In other cases, the lack of commitment uh, was the main reason for not with, getting the favorable results or for not implementing it. Another aspect, which is more of a cultural issue in which employers or even top management is reluctant in experiencing change. Actually, they don't uh, want to change their traditional uh, approaches, which they have been using for so many years. So they resist to accept any change. Finally, uh, the existing uh, implementation systems like last planner system is very broad based in which only stages are mentioned, but how uh, downstream players actually gonna implement these stages are very inadequately shown. So again, uh, 69 strategies respecting each barrier within the population group are identified and few of them are shown in this slide. For uh, group one, uh, it was found that uh, the lean practitioners should share their lean success stories in the form of publications, congresses, and the use of electronic media instead of just reporting the benefits. The owners of different uh, construction firms should be made knowledgeable in using the lean construction. And the involvement of government level decisions and taking educational measures in realization of the waste can uh, prove to be a very successful step in realization of lean benefits. Group two uh, population should be realized regarding competitive advantage of lean constructed projects over the uh, projects which were undertaken using the existing practices. This improvement are brought in terms of reduction in waste, defects, and improvement should be shown before giving any time and cost benefits. And in order to improve the confidence on lean construction, it should be started as a trial and then measured for the improvements which should be shared among the employees. And the uh, companies should uh, start implementing the lean uh, construction with the goal of the process improvements initially, and then later on will witness the profits itself. Uh, for uh, group three, uh, the lean construction uh, should be implemented gradually from one activity to another activity, followed by a very rigorous evaluation of complete implementation process. It is very easy to modify the existing practices uh, that can cover lean construction principles and objectives and easy to be implemented with minor modifications. <clears throat> In order to make a lean construction uh, implementation successful, the owners or contractors should take all the stakeholders on board by developing a, a trust and long-term relationship with them. The use of uh, technologies like building information modeling, it can be very helpful in improving the visualization of the complete project and help in identifying the non-value adding activities. And in the end, uh, the lean teams uh, should be fully supported in making lean construction a success. In summary, folks of the lean construction should not only for improving the implementing process, but also on increasing its adoption rate. In order to increase adoption rate and improve the implementation, both barriers and the strategy to overcome those barriers should be identified simultaneously instead of separate inspiration. The necessary link between barriers and strategies cannot be developed if explored separately. In this study, both barriers and the strategies targeting like population groups are identified for increasing the uptake of lean construction. The construction industry is always looking toward the improvement and overcoming challenges. This study can provide some guidelines for them to successfully open, uh, overcome the adoption and the implementation barriers.
since this study is based on the literature and the past the cases studies, it would be very beneficial if more case studies are explored to see how the successful lean construction have adopted and implemented the lean construction. Thereby giving this study a more practical touch. We are very thankful for your time. If you have any questions, please email us with these email addresses. Thank you again.